Hello everyone, myself Prakya D. I am working as assistant professor in the Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering in STB Institute of Technology, Bangalore. So today I am going to explain how to find odd and even part in a given signal. You can see here the X of T is given as uh, in this manner. So we need to find odd and even part in the given signal. As we all know that we have a formula to find even part and as well as odd part. I am going to write what is the formula for uh, even part. The formula for even part is x, xc of t is equal to 1 by 2 into x of t plus x of minus t. And for an odd part we have a formula x naught of t is equal to 1 by 2 into x of t minus x of minus t. So, before finding odd and even part, we need to go for finding x of minus t. Because we already know what is x of t, we need x of minus t, we need to add these two and divide it by, uh, by 2, uh, we can get even part of the signal. So now I am going to explain how to find x of minus t. As we all know that x of minus t is known as a mirroring. So whatever x of t is given, the same signal is going to be a mirror image of x of t is nothing but x of minus t. So x of minus t now we are going to get in the left hand side of the signal. So, 0 as it is, 1 will become minus 1, 2 will become minus 2. You can see here, this is 0, 1, 2, now it is 0, minus 1 and minus 2. Now, we need to add these two signals. So, which signal we need to add? We need to add x of t and as well as x of minus t. So, now I am going to do x of t plus x of minus t to get this added signal. So you can see here uh, I am going to add these two signal at 2. The position of t time interval at 2 we have 0 at x of t and we have 0 at x of minus t. So I am going to get 0 then if I go for at 1 t is equal to 1 x of t having an amplitude 1 and x of minus t having an amplitude 0. So if I add these two amplitude I am going to get 1. So at 0 we have 0 at 0 we have 0. So at 0 I am going to get 0 only. Then at minus 1 See here, there is no signal which is having at minus 1 and minus 2 in x of t, but we have a signal in x of minus t at minus 1. So, minus 1, we have 0 here, we have 1 here. If I add these two, I am going to get the amplitude 1 here. So, at minus 2, I have 0 for x of t and I have 0 at x of minus t. So, I am going to get 0 at minus 2. So, this is a continuous signal. I am going to add all, means continuously I am going to connect this. So, this amplitude is 1. Next, I am going to explain you that uh, the even part of signal, I can get it in this way, even part that is xc of t is nothing but this is 1 by 2 into x of t plus x of minus t. So, I already added this. I need to do divided by 2. So, as we all know that this is uh, uh, just like uh, uh, an amplitude scaling. Okay, Amplitude scaling, this is 1 by 2 is multiplied to the all the amplitude which is available at x of t plus x of minus t. So, if I multiply that, 
the amplitude is going to become 1 by 2 into 1. So, because we have 1 amplitude at these two interval. So, it is going to uh, uh, divided by 2. So, finally, we get the signal for a even part that is same as it is I am going to get I am just I am going to do the amplitude part divided by 2. So, if I divide it by 2, your amplitude will become 1 by 2 or 0.5. So, this is your even part of signal we got from this given signal. So, now I am going to moving on to the odd part of a signal. So, odd part of a signal, we know that the formula for odd part of the signal is x naught of t is equal to 1 by 2 into x of t minus x of minus t. So, firstly I am going to do x of t minus of x of minus t. So, we already have the signal c here. This is x of t, x of t and this is x of minus t. If I do the subtraction of this, if I do the subtraction of this, this is x of t and this is x of minus t. So, see here for 2 we have 0, 0 amplitude. If I subtract this, I am going to get 0. Here 1, here 0, I am going to get the amplitude 1. For 0, here 0, here 0, I am going to get the amplitude 0. So, for right hand side, I am going to get the amplitude values like this. This is 1 and this is 2. The same value I am going to get it here. The same values I am going to get it here if I subtract at right hand side of the signal. If I go to left hand side of the signal, you can see here this is x of t and this is x of minus t. At 0 already we done. Then at minus 1 I have 0 and here at minus 1 I have 1. 0 minus 1 is minus 1. So, you are going to get at minus 1 the negative value you are going to get this amplitude is minus 1. If I go to minus 2 here it is 0, here it is 0. If I subtract these two I am going to get 0 only. So, at minus 2, I am going to get 0. So, I am going to join this signal. So, signal is getting like this. Next, I need to do the odd part of signal. The odd part that is nothing but x naught of t is equal to 1 by 2.